Hi everyone, it's Wheelock Alarms, and today we're going to take a look at my Gamewell Master Box I just got in the mail. This is box number 48, and where I bought this from was actually a Facebook page. Uh, basically, it's nothing but Gamewell boxes, and I basically put a post on there asking if anybody had any Master Boxes for sale, and I had a gentleman from Massachusetts reply, and I ended up buying a box off of him. Now, I'm sure you can see it's not in pristine condition. I do plan on eventually restoring it. And I didn't know he was going to include it, but he did include for me a brand new number plate and a brand new piece of, I believe it's plexiglass, to go right here. It might be real glass, I don't know. Um, so when I do restore it, I have those parts. He also gave me a key, even though, oh goodness, if I don't drop it, I actually already have two of those. Let's go ahead and pop it open. The outside of the box is, I don't want to say in rough condition, but it's not in the greatest condition either. The inside of the box I think is in pretty good condition. The paint's still nice and red. Uh, in fact, there's still actually stickers on it. If we open this up, there is the local energy trip. This actually can be wired into a fire alarm control panel so that when the panel activates, this little arm will push this lever down and set the box off just as if someone had pulled the lever on the front. And actually when you pull the lever on the front, all you're doing is just pushing this down with that arm. Um, here's where all the wiring takes place. And as you can see, all the uh, internal components are in excellent condition um, nice and clean nothing looks corroded or anything the date here it says warranty expires December of 96 so uh, I'm not sure what year it was actually made but that gives you a rough idea and I'm assuming this was from the city that it came from they would scan these barcodes when they serviced it I don't know but that's there so let's go ahead and pull the box First we'll pull it normally with the box closed and then I'll open it and show you guys the gears. As you can hear it's not really all that quiet, it's actually a pretty loud uh, box. And there's the third wheel. And that's a cycle. One of the things you have to do periodically is turn this knob right here. Basically what that does is tightens up uh, the spring there so that when someone pulls it the code wheel will spin. And then if the fire alarm panel does trip it, you have to reset this here which is just turning at 90 degrees. So that's about it for now guys. Eventually this will hopefully be hooked into the system. And uh, yeah. So that's about it for now. Like I said, eventually I will restore this, but for now I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Thanks again, guys. Have a great day.